Everybody shout hallelujah in his presence. Hallelujah. Let's just shout a hallelujah in his presence. Let's just shout a hallelujah in his presence. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just lift your hand in his presence and worship him. Hallelujah. Lift your hand in his presence and sing with you deserve the glory. As 
Hey. Is that me? 
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Glory to God. Oh, we bless your name. We bless your name. We bless you. We bless your name. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Sweet Rose of Sharon. Mighty God, mighty God. Oh, the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Spirit of God. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody need to say thank you, Jesus. Praise God. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord. My Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus. Oh, we bless the name of Jesus. Sweet Jesus. Sweet Rose of Sharon. Mighty God, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Praise the name of Jesus. My God. My Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you. Praise God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. My, my, my. Praise the name of Jesus. It's prayer time in the house I believe that under this atmosphere of worship and adoration that healing is already flowing my 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 Jesus I thank you praise God healing is already in the house sweet Holy Ghost Sweet Holy Spirit. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Spirit of God, we thank you for your presence. For your Shekinah glory. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask you to do something special this morning. Just make an altar where you are. You don't feel like coming up to the altar. Just make an altar where you are. Just bow in the presence of God. Every one of you. Hallelujah. Spirit of God. Yes, let it look like worship. As you fall down in his presence. Bless the Lord. 
It's the hour of prayer. But just a reminder from the word of God. That healing is authentic. And that healing is certain. James asked the question. He said. In chapter 5 and verse 13. Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing psalms. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church. And let them pray over him. Anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And this is what he said. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick. And the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven. I don't care whatever your sins are. Once you bow in the presence of God and ask him to forgive you, your sins are gone. They are gone. And they are buried in the sea of forgetfulness. And then he says, confess your faults one to another. Pray one for another. That he may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer. Of a righteous man availeth much. Elijah was a man subject. To like passions as we are. And he prayed earnestly that it might not rain. And it rained not on the earth by the space of three years. And six months. And he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, my God. And the earth brought forth her fruit. Brethren, if any of you do err from the truth, and one convert him, let him know that he which converteth the sinner from the error of his way shall save the soul from death shall hide a multitude of sins I believe there is so much consolation in this passage this morning it covers everything enhances your faith drives a stronger foundation in your assurance the Bible said Elijah was a man of like passion which means he was somebody just like us he released faith and he prayed shut up the heavens so when we pray we should expect an answer from God and if the answer that we are looking for didn't come that didn't say that God did not answer because sometimes folks might believe that because you prayed for certain things and God didn't turn it the way you think. Then you said God didn't answer. But yes, he did answer. Because God has two responses. It's either yes. As a matter of fact, three responses. It's either yes, no, or wait. And the Bible said those that wait upon the Lord. My God Almighty shall renew their strength. So mount up with wings as eagles. They're going to run and they're not going to be weary. They're going to be walking for miles. And they're not going to faint. Sister Sylvia, I'm talking to you this morning. Laying on that bed or sitting up. I'm here this morning to remind you that Jesus... Has his hands pointing towards you. I'm speaking to you my daughter. I'm speaking to you my sister in Christ. Hold on because God has. And I don't care what problems you come in this house with. As long as you exercise faith. And I'm reminding you 
The Bible is saying that if you confess your faults, then leave it there at the altar and feel the freedom of the Spirit of God in your heart because He forgives and He cleanses. This morning we have a list of names that we have not yet given over. Minister Johnson is not here this morning. Not doing very well. We want to talk to the Lord about him. Praise God. Minister Clark is in the house this morning. We give God praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Andrine, my sister-in-law, we are still praying for you and me. For Kingsley, we're not going to stop praying until we get the result. And for Brother Wayne, who is in the house this morning, your name is still on the list. We are grateful that you are with us. And we will continue to pray for the woman of God, Lady Faulkner, co-pastor of Futum. And thank God Evangelist Maxwell is in the house this morning. By the grace of Almighty God, His power and deliverance. Hallelujah. Sister Foster is here this morning. I thank God for her presence. Rico, the son of Sister Janet, I'm going to talk to the Lord about her as well. Saints, I want you to lift your faith right now. And don't take it as just a habit to do this, but I want you to exercise faith. And I don't want you to lose focus. Let nothing distract you. Put your faith in the direction where the power and the presence of God are emanating. I feel something. Through that worship, I feel something. Kedomo Shaddai. Alabaho Shetai. I believe that during that praise and worship that something happened. But we are going to ask God for more. And we are not going to be praying for very long. It's not the length of the prayer. But it's the faith that exudes from the prayer that is prayed. Come on, turn your faith on now. Let's all plug in at this time for miracles. Hala kubai sandabai. Hello, Mundia Satabai. Hello, Shadai. Karobohu Sindabakashi, Nobohu Satabahandaya. Jesus. Precious Jesus. Heavenly Father, thou who art in heaven but fills the earth, the underworld, you fill the space on every planet deep in the heart of the earth where the devil and his domain operates your eyes are in every place Holy Spirit I'm in your presence this morning my God unworthy and unbalanced I am but I thank you that the blood still gives life there is a flowing of this life-giving blood and any man can have life when faith is exuded. Spirit of God, I adore you this morning and I worship you from the very recesses of my consciousness. Oh God, oh God, oh God, thou art high and holy. You're high and lifted up and your train is filling the tuli at the bar. Your train is filling the temple. I give you glory, praise, and honor this morning. And I just thank you that you are so merciful. I thank you for the provisions that you made for us. You have kept and preserved us, shielding us, Almighty God, from the dangers that are hanging around us. We are living in a world where demonic forces seems to be traversing across this globe and minds and hearts 
are being subjected to these evil forces and these evil powers. But I thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost that is so strong that it is able to shake the foundations of this world. Holy Ghost, I humble myself in your presence knowing how unworthy I am. But thou, God, when we call from a broken and a contrite spirit, you're able to hear and you're able to change a situation and a circumstance. And now, Father, I come on behalf of these, your children. I thank you for the touch upon the body of Minister Johnson this morning. I pray that you would anoint him. I pray, Holy Ghost, that you would touch him, Lord. And cover him deep underneath your blood. For Sister Sylvia, your daughter whom I believe that you have already healed. I pray mighty God that you would feel the essence of your presence. Even now that her mind and her heart would be so strengthened. That she would look above the affliction and fix her eyes on the master. Oh, the tempest of affliction is raging against her. But I speak to that storm this morning. I command it now in the name of Jesus to be subverted. Hello, Shekala Bahasataya. And touch your daughter. God, Minister Clark, who is in the house this morning. Your presence is with her. Your anointing is with her. You remember Andrine this morning, Almighty God. You know what she needs. You promised to supply every need according to your riches in glory. Remember Kingsley this morning, almighty God. Remember Sister Venice. Touch them, cover them, oh God. Brother Wayne Blade. Oh God, I thank you for your protective hands that have brought him home. God, I thank you. Oh Jesus, the angels of God. Surround those who put their trust and confidence. For Lady Faulkner, God, you're doing a mysterious miracle in her body. I pray, God, that you continue to work upon her, Lord. God, Evangelist Maxwell, your servant who have decided it doesn't matter what it takes, but she's going to stand flat-footed. The enemy hates it, but I bind the forces of the enemy. I destroy every sickness, every pain from whatever direction, whatever strategy that the enemy possesses. You are able to erase those strategies and to bring deliverance. Lord, I pray this morning in the name of Jesus that you would remember your servant, Sister Foster. Touch that body, God. Bring that pressure down, Almighty God. I pray, God, that you would leave this altar. Relieve, Almighty God, and touch in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth remember Rico this morning that young man needs a deliverance I pray in the name of Jesus that total deliverance remember sister Jeannie this morning God I pray that you would anoint her God anoint those feet in the name of Jesus every pain in that body God she has battled against the enemy to be in your house this morning allow her to leave this place almighty God with an abundance of your blessing and for these who are at this altar now Lord their cups are turned up and their faith are now extended in your direction Lord this piece of clay that stands in your presence it's worth nothing values nothing it's only you who lives in it that makes it to be anything. And so God. From the recesses. And the consciousness of my innermost being. I pray that you would hear the prayer that comes from this heart. And I pray that your people be blessed. Satisfied. Healed and delivered. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that you control every spot of ground. On this compound. From the gate. The fences. The walls. From the basement, almighty God, up to the floor, I pray that the fire of God would encircle and let something significant, something miraculous, let it happen. Open those portals wider, I pray. Father, we know that you still have us in the potter's house. Though the storms are raging high and the dark clouds are rising, 
I pray for Sister Marcia this morning, Lord Jesus Christ, wherever she is on this Sunday morning. I pray that a touch of your holy divine hands would surround her and let a circle of fire be set her behind and before. Thank you for coming in. You didn't have to do it, God, but you did. And so with a heart of thanksgiving, we open up to you, almighty God, saying, here is my cup, fill it up. Fill our cups, Lord. As we came with those empty cups, God, please don't allow us to leave this house today with those cups still empty. But I pray that there would be a flushing out of whatever in those cups, Lord. Flush it out and fill it with divine essence. Now, Holy Ghost, we believe out of sight. We delete whatever the enemy has written, Almighty God. We take a new page and we wait for your inscription and your signature from an Anosha. In the name of Jesus Christ, bless and heal and deliver your people, we pray. In Jesus' name. Come on, rise from your knees and open your mouth and start to shout in the presence of God like you believe it. Shout some hallelujah like you really Hey, Halabosa Taya, like you really believe it. Hey, Halabosa Tanya, stir up Matosha Talabai, stir up that pure gift on the inside, and let your faith override those mole hills that look like mountains. Because Jesus Christ is fully in charge. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody show bull shot I. My God, I thank you. Yes, sir. Somebody shout. Hello, Satanabai. Don't hold it back. Release it. Hello, Satanabahandaya. Kinabo Satanabahandai. Shout like you got it. Blood of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. Beautiful presence. Amen. Awesome presence. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. No wonder the songwriter said, My soul is indicted in a good matter. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to Almighty God. Amen. We want to honor the Lord Jesus this morning. We want to thank him for giving us this opportunity to be in his presence. Hallelujah. We want to thank him. Hallelujah. For the praise team this morning. Along with the Holy Ghost. I felt my cup was flowing over this morning. Jesus, I thank you. I thank you. I wish I could worship all day long. And just stay in that. But we are going to stay in the attitude of worship this morning. I want to greet you all in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for today. I want to recognize um, Minister Trenchfield, Mr. Johnson Small. We greet him. He's absent. Amen. I know he's watching and we want to greet him. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Our officers, the evangelists, our visitors, we thank you, the saints of God. We thank God for your presence this morning. Praise the Lord Jesus. I want to thank God for my cousin, Sister Christy. Amen. I'm going to ask her to stand, those who do not know her. This is a cousin of mine, my aunt's daughter. And I'm telling you, I'm so blessed to have her in my life. Thank you, Jesus, for the way God has been using her, able to minister to me. And I thank God for her being here with us this morning. 
Just lift your hand and praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I thank God for each and every one of you here this morning. I really thank God. Sister Faithy, we thank God we are in the house this morning. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Saints, when we enter into this kind of an atmosphere, it allows us to know how much the Lord Jesus loved us and cared for us. You know, the other day, my husband was talking to somebody in Jamaica. And um, the young man said, this is Sister Faithy Parson, Holiday High. And he said, yes. And he said, Brother Neville, I went and I did an eye surgery. And thank God I cannot see. He said, thank you, Jesus. I fell for her. But I thank God for me. is a delicate procedure. And every morning I go and I look at this one. And I'm seeing myself back in the mirror. Hallelujah. I say, God, you are good. The praise team sang this morning. You deserve the glory. I thank God for my pastor this morning. I thank God for him. I really do. And I pray for those who are lonely this morning. Who need somebody to be there not an easy life. Not, you know, living by yourself and there's no one to hand you a glass of water when you really truly need it. So when we are praying, let us pray. There's so many things to pray about. Gone are the days when we just say, Amen. We have to pray sincerely for each other. Pray with understanding. Pray in love. Pray in faith believing. Not only for yourself, but for each other. Oh God, we need to call somebody and encourage them. We thank God for our media listeners this morning. Who are so much in tune. Many are calling for prayers and when we are praying, pray for those who are listening. I want to thank God for a day like today. A beautiful day that the Lord has made. We want to rejoice, saints. We want to rejoice today in this day that the Lord has made. We want to sit in our seat, but we want to entertain the presence of God. Thank you for praying for me. And I want you to know, I'm praying for you. Thank you for loving me. I am loving you back. Hallelujah. Jesus, I thank you. And so it's time for the word of God. to stay focused as we receive the word of God. Sister Marcy, I saw you. Thank you, Jesus. As we receive, I truly believe that we are going to be fed with the word of Almighty God this morning. I don't know what I feel in my spirit. I 
what this time I'm going to ask you to stand up. Our bishop prays for each and every one of us this morning. And so we are going to be praying for him. We want to be praying for his strength this morning. touch and agree at this moment saying hallelujah hallelujah praise God we are praying praise God praise God we are all praying for the bishop this morning amen point hand in this direction praise God hallelujah eternal God and our father our creator our maker our redeemer hallelujah the one who sits high and look low this morning, we thank you for your goodness. Oh, your grace and your mercy, your faithfulness. Oh, God, I'm bringing us one more time in your house to worship you, God. And as we come, give us a heart like thine. We put before you right now our pastor, our bishop, oh, God. Bishop Clark, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the one you have called this morning to lead your people. Lord, we call for a blessing upon his life this morning in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Anoint him right now from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Strengthen him right now, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I bless the precious your spirit upon him right now. Pour out upon him right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, use him, Lord, like you never used him before. Let your word come with power this morning and with clarity in the name of Jesus Christ. And if you wish to know that you this morning, we want to bind up in the name of Jesus Christ. Bless your people as they come this morning to hear your word, O oh God, that their hearts will be open and receptive to your word. Have your way, we pray you. I will say thanks. In Jesus' name, amen. And for Jesus' sake, amen, amen. and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. Jesus. Amen. We believe the prayer. Hallelujah. With all minds clear, let us point our hand in faith and say, Bless the Lord. In the name of Jesus. And at this time, I present to you. None other than our bishop, Bishop Clark. And bless you, sir. Hey, Koshandaba. God bless you. Can we just lift our hands to the Lord? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's issue an ambit of praise. And adoration in the presence of Almighty God. Hallelujah. Just tell Him thanks. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Say thanks to Him for His mercies endureth forever. Praise God. You may be seated. I honor the Lord Jesus Christ, who is my all in all, my strength, my refuge, my protector, my provider, my divine leader. To him be all majesty and power, dominion and authority. Again, I want to take the time out to greet the mother of this church, the First Lady. The ministers, 
Minister Trenchfield, Minister Johnson in his absence. And all the evangelists. Evangelist Campbell. Evangelist Dockery. Evangelist Trenchfield. And Evangelist Maxwell. Officers, members, friends and visitors, media listeners. Musicians, media personnel, very important. I'm grateful. God has been so good to me, I can't express it in words. He has been. He's been such a friend. Jesus as a friend I don't know what I would do but he's a good friend he is the Bible said he's a friend that sticketh closer than a brother He is consistent. He's very consistent. And I'm grateful for the consistency of his friendship, his love, and his fellowship. He has never deceived me, not one single time. Not one solitary moment God has never deceived me. I don't know about you. You got to answer that for yourself. But as for me, God has never deceived me. Not one moment. I look at how imbalanced and how insufficient I am what he requires have been trying for over 40 years to meet all of those requirements and I'm still fighting to get there but yet he's patient with me I have to love him I have to love Jesus it doesn't matter what it takes Because it's not the high caliber of who I am. Or the range of my holiness. But it's out of the recesses of his love. That's why I can sing like the songwriter. He never failed me yet. And I'm just here this morning to encourage your heart it doesn't matter what you're going through it doesn't matter where you find yourself Jesus is not going to let you down I tell you saints I my daughters always said to me dad I don't understand you don't cry otherwise so why do you cry so often when you get to church but sometimes I'm so broken the Bible said Jesus wept and there were several reasons why he wept he wept because of compassion. 
And he also wept because of the unbelief of a set of folks that he was dealing with. And so St. John 11.35 says, Jesus wept. But oh, I remember Jeremiah. That sometimes Jeremiah, when he looked over the condition and the situation of the chosen, there was nothing else he could do at times but to break down in tears and cry. So sometimes folks look at you and they say you're a crybaby. But tears is a language. My God Almighty. Tears is a language. That God understands. And every time that a tear gland is broken. Jesus interprets it. He picks it up. And he knows exactly why the tear gland burst. I'm grateful for a relationship with Jesus. And most of all, one of the things that I'm grateful for, I'm going to heaven. And I don't care what the world say, I'm going there. Some folks said there is no heaven. Because I was listening to a physicist just the other day. And he said heaven is just a mental concept. Because heaven is one on one side. And hell is on the other side. So you better enjoy what you see. Because there is nothing after this. I looked at him. I said you fool. So why would Jesus came? And he rightly said, I go to prepare a place for you. And I will come again. You see, I read that passage over and over. But whenever I'm reading it, I take out the subjunctive part of the statement, if I go. I take out that if. That must be a transliteration error. Because Jesus don't promise anything that he's going to do with a subjunctive mood of the verb. He's going to do it. So when you read it, take out the subjunctive, Jesus is coming back. In other words, I believe that when he was talking, he said, I'm going now, but I will be coming back. But somebody finds it possible to drop the subjunctive. Jesus don't deal with the subjunctive. If you don't understand what I'm talking about, it's a part of the English language. The subjunctive mood, it's an uncertainty. We are the ifs, but Jesus is the will. Come on, clap your hands if you understand what I'm talking about. I tell you, Sister Clark, I feel brand new. Brand new. I'm a, br I'm a brand new man. Evangelist Campbell, the devil don't know what to do with me. He can't get me. Mighty God. Tries everything. Because sometimes the enemy believe that if I can just see him experience a disappointment. Then I'm going to tie a chain to his feet. And I'm going to take away his faith. But I look at the devil, I say, every disappointment for the human being is an appointment for the master. 
Why? Somebody help me lift up Jesus in here. Somebody help me lift up Jesus in here. Hey, you shabako setala behind the eye. My Lord, my Lord, this old dragon, he don't know what to do with me. He tried everything. Brother Boswell, he tried everything. He said, if I can just get him to feel disappointed or to see disappointment, I'm going to wrap him up. But every disappointment is God's appointment. Come on, believers. Come on, believers. You better understand the mystery of our God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. It's a day of worship. It's a day of worship. Come on, loose up your spirit and let worship. Let worship fumigate this atmosphere. Stand on the neck of the enemy with your faith. On Christ the solid rock we stand. Because all of the ground is sinking sand. Hey! 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 Somebody show Jesus! Sit for me, saints. Oh, God. Clap your ten strings for Jesus.
be seated. Praise God. I have to praise God because he's good to me. Mercies are everlasting and his truth endures to all. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I feel like laughing in the spirit. Uh -huh. Hey, 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 you, hey, 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 Take what God 
It looks strange, but God is doing a work here. The spirit, the spirit of Ahithophel, the spirit of Sambalat, the spirit of Tobiah got to go. There's a spirit that hangs on here. But the blood of Jesus destroy every spirit that's not like Christ. And the church of God must be triumphant. It has been too long. It has been too long. There's a spirit that lingers here. I'm getting rid of it today. That deceptious, malign, built-in, innate, negative spirit and it is spreading like a venom but i'm destroying it today in the name of jesus help me destroy that malign spirit that malign ahithophel spirit that spirit of sambalat that spirit of tobiah i bind it in the name of jesus yerabashata If that spirit refused to go, I said if that the body that carried that spirit, if that spirit refused to go, death is going to be in the pot. Death in the pot. Death in the pot. If that spirit won't go, death is in the pot. When God speaks, he means it. I said, when God speaks, he means it. This is God's church. This is not Clark's church. He was the one who went to the cross. And I'm here to tell from the Pope to the poorhouse that the Spirit of God reigns dominion power majesty but i'm sick and tired of that spirit that conniving deceptive spirit i'm sick of it i said i'm sick of it help me look through the holy ghost help me look through the holy spirit and you will see where it is coming from you will see where it is coming from that subvertive conniving spirit it is a trouble in the presence but if there is no change I'm ready to bury you I'm saying it one more time if there is no change I'm ready to bury you dust to dust ashes to ashes it has been too long You better change your address.
If you want to believe it, it's up to you. You don't want to believe it, it's up to you. But God wants to do something in his church. And when he gets ready, Sister Christian, when God gets ready, he bulldoze every barrier. And he's about to bulldoze some barrier. And every man's eye will behold it if there is no change. And I'm not going to mourn. You're not going to see me crying. I'm sick and tired of that spirit, man. That spirit lives here. And every time we would move forward, there's a pulling backward. The little foxes that are knowing the vine. I'm clearing it today. Somebody just say you're on the air. I don't care. That's where I want to be, on the air. The blood of Jesus. Because I'm shooting this message as far as it can go. Because there is an overriding spirit that is affecting the church international. Messing up leaders. Messing up preachers. Messing up evangelists. Mighty God. It's the spirit from hell. And so the little apostolic church that God wants to build. And that spirit that abides here. But spirit cannot operate unless it finds a body. It needs a body. So if you open up yourself as a vessel for that spirit. He will operate. And I'm going to say it clearly. Sister Marcia through the eyes of the spirit. I see that spirit operating. And it is messing up the congregation. It is messing up the people of God. It is even messing up people with good mind and good heart. It is messing up people with good mind and good heart. Spreading like love bush. Do you know what love bush is? When I was going to school, I put my eyes on a little girl and I say, I'm going to throw this weed and if she love me it's going to spread I go back and it die I say mm, she didn't love me but if I can just find one when I throw that little and it starts spreading then inside I say yes she love me there's a spirit that is spreading like love bush I'm killing it now. If you have the Holy Ghost, look in the Holy Ghost. Look in the direction of the Spirit. And then you will know if I'm talking from my brain. I've seen it. Sister Clark, I've seen it. Young ones, I've seen it. But don't take the influence. Tell the devil I don't want that influence. Because the devil is very influential. And when he drops his word, it spread like a growing plant. And sometimes it gets right in our business. Right in our business. God comes and he sows the wheat in the daytime. But overnight, the devil comes and he sows the tears. I've seen it. You think I don't see it? You think I don't see it? You better stop. 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 pretty suit, my pretty dress, my nice shoes and hair comb nicely.
but on a nice suit and nice dress. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. And the spirit is saying they are not winning. But Jesus is saying my winning is different from the winnings of humanity. I'm on the winning side. The church is on the winning side. God is about to do something spectacular. I wouldn't even say spectacular. Spectacular. Somebody showed with me. You're quiet, but you're devious. I say you're quiet, but you're devious. You act quiet like you can't mash hands, but you're devious. Hataba. Mando Rashata. If God don't clean up this church, then the Bible is not right. If God don't show a sign, then the Bible is not right. God is going to show a sign if there's no change. Batola manda Beloshandaba Silabando Sata Sebatula Mai Siku Shandabai Sibo Shata Elo Mando Silaba Kushetandia Satabai Seku Shandai Seko Yashatabai Silo Yalabaku She Elumandia Sekura Bashata Lord Jesus, my God, some of your last. Many, many shouting sometimes, holding up hands, but there is nothing underneath it. God going to take off your clothes. God going to strip you naked. You pretend for too long. Your time is up. Come on, don't join the pretenders. The pretenders' time is very short. Sister Marcia, I saw you before you get to the building. I was praying for you while you were coming. I opened my eyes and you were here. Let God use you. You are being judged from the outside, but let God use you. Blood of Jesus. Stop judging her from the outside. Stop it. She's God's child. Leave her alone. Then sings my soul. My Savior God to thee, how great. How great thou art. I'm with Jesus. I'm on his side. Wherever I die, I don't care. <laughs> but I'm on his side, oh God. <laughs> oh God, I see it so clearly. I see it so clearly. You're acting like you're on my side, but you're a liar. You're a total liar in the presence of Almighty God. You want to, you want to shoot me off the words? Shoot me. To be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Mighty God, deacon, I heard the Spirit saying, Rejoice not over me, mine enemy, because though I fall. But I didn't fall. I'm under God's derision. I'm under God's supervision. Somebody clap a hand in here and say, Jesus lives. Say it one more time. Jesus lives. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Come on, give me a hand. Jesus. He has placed his hands upon your hands. And these hands are going to be used. For the declaration 
of mystery and miracle. Oh God, my God Almighty. I want you to feel what's coming from me. I want you to feel if I'm pretending. Sometimes they are disgusted with your anointing. But you didn't anoint yourself. God did it. God did it. So live, 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 live under the anointing. Sometimes, sometimes they don't like your anointing. But you didn't anoint yourself. So live, 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 live under the anointing. Yes! Yes! Escape! Escape that spirit of deception. Escape that spirit of unprophesying now. God has brought you from a far distance. I'm looking down through the corridors of time. And God has brought you from a very far distance. And he didn't brought you here to leave you. He didn't brought you here to lose you. So stay away from the air of deception. Escape though for thy life. And behind you look or never. Else you will be consumed in pain. Take it in the name of Jesus. Unwrap yourself. Unwrap yourself. The eyes of God is watching. The eyes of God is watching. And let me give you a word here. If you don't understand it, leave it alone. You don't understand it? Leave it alone. And I don't care how young you are. Don't plant any seed of unforgiveness in your heart. Things might be said. You don't like it. You might be too old. You might be too young. But things have been said and you don't like it. Forgive it and leave it. And let God use you. I'm not the one who gives the message I'm just reading the writing sit down for me let me talk to you today because the Lord knows the Lord knows my daughter that I can't manage and he told me about some 18 months ago or two years ago he said, I know that you can't manage, so I'm coming to help you. And I'm here waiting for the help. But those, hallelujah, those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength and they shall mount up with wings as eagles. But guess what? I don't care where you have been. I don't care what occurs. If you have that humble heart to say, Lord, here I am. I'm sorry. Then you can just move on and just start to walk happy. Just start walking happy. But oh God, my sister, you have some quiet ones and they are as devious under quietness they are as devious you ever hear about parrot and black sparrow 
I have the analogy because I'm a farmer's son. But when my dad planted that corn, set traps for the parrots, believing that he's going to see a green feather on that ear of corn. Sad that when he went in, it was a silent black sparrow. And then my dad began to say, sparrows eat corn? Yes, they do. But they do it quietly. I'd rather to deal with the parrot than the sparrow. I'm going to say it one more time. I prefer to deal with the parrot than the sparrow. The sparrow is hard to detect. You have to dig deep to find the sparrow. But the Holy Ghost is digging. 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 And digging. I don't want to say this, but if I'm pushed to say it, I will have to say it. But let me say this. Some of you, or a few of you, don't even know this. You don't know me. You don't know me. But if I start to give you my history, then you wouldn't even venture to exercise those kinds of attitudes and behavior. Believing that nobody knows and nobody sees. Conniving and deceptious. You see, from morning the word deceptious, it's just in me. Deception, deception, deception. And then the prayer that was prayed. I heard God saying, I will never deceive you. I will never hurt you. You might be tested. But when you are tried, you will come forth as pure gold. And some folks said, well, you only talk like this because you're here. You come to New York and come to Africa and come to Jamaica and you will find out. Because the same God who operates here in the United States, he operates in Jamaica and he operates in Canada. So come to Canada and listen and you will understand that God is no respecter of persons. You see what I get to understand that my title is not important. I'm a teacher. By profession. I'm a head waiter. By profession. I have a doctorate. I have a PhD. I have a master's. I have a bachelor's degree. But that don't count. That don't count. Oh God. Let me feel like crying again. What counts? It's a relationship that is real. And how long are you going to be holding up hands? Pretending. How long? How long? And somebody may think that I come with this plan. No, I didn't. But as many as are led of the spirit. They are. The sons of God. It doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him. For we shall see him. Just like he is. The altar call is already made. I said the altar call is already made. And let me remind you. In these days, 
Not every place you're going to get anything like this. It's uncommon. I'm saying it's uncommon. Because everywhere you go now is mega this, mega that, mega this, mega that, mega. I want some mega Holy Ghost power. So that when I open my mouth and speak, demons tremble. I don't want to be here making noise. And when demons attack me at home, I'm useless. Because some of it, we have a way of making noise and nothing underneath it. I see it for too long. Get something under that. You have the right moves, but get something under the moves. Come on, lift your hands in the air and give Jesus praise. Come on, lift your hands in the air and give Jesus praise and glory. Give him praise and clumandola bahasa tala bahanda. Time and time again, I come up against these crab spirit. And somebody said, no, 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 I don't think that is in there. Evangelist Dockery, Evangelist Maxwell, crab spirit, small mindedness. And before before you let me climb, you're rather to remain where you are. And so it's like we are beating ear year after year after year. Because if you let me go, there's going to be a big establishment. I'm going to become popular. I'm going to become famous. And might have been, you think in your mind, I might get rich. I'm not too much careful about riches my wife can tell you I want to know that I'm not sleeping under a tree and if I'm to come to church I don't want to have to walk so that my knees get tired but nothing frightens me ladies and gentlemen brothers and sisters prepare for heaven because Jesus is coming oh God I'm just a voice the boys have mercy Jesus uh, I'm just a voice I'm just a voice one day my voice will never be heard but the echo will remain in your consciousness Whenever I leave, you will remember. Whenever I'm gone, you will remember that there was one who was crying in the wilderness, prepare ye 
the way of the Lord. You see this podium? I'm not overzealous to stand behind here. You see what God is doing here? That's my pleasure. I don't have to stand behind here to advertise myself how learned I am. Because a whole lot of the learned ones, they are the fools in this world. But those that put their trust in the Lord, the Bible said they shall. Shandalabai. They shall be like Mount Zion. I have a word for you. I'm much bigger than what you see. I said I'm much bigger than what you see. Can I just touch everything? Because there is an equalizing spirit. There's an equalizing spirit that I'm up against and I've seen it for a long time. Everybody is the same. Well, I'm here to let you know today everybody is not the same. Everybody is not the same. Because God has chosen his elect for certain places and position. So we are not the same. I have to remind, I've never done that before, but I got to do it today. We are not the same. For those of you who sit in this building, you have the Holy Ghost. Judge through the Holy Spirit if I'm just making things up. Because if I stand before you and make things up, I will stand in the judgment of God. But I'm speaking as an oracle of the Lord Jesus Christ. If there can just be a listening ear and an attentive response, things will change. Glory to God. I hear the Spirit saying amen. Clap your hands, everybody. Let me hear the church say amen. Let me hear the church say amen. Let me hear the church say amen. I read recently a philosophy of one of these maligned physicists. And he said that when Christians say amen, you are giving exaltation to one of the Egyptians, one of the Egyptian gods whose name was Amen. So every time you say amen, you give allegiance to the Egyptian God. But I want to push this across the atmosphere to that physicist who studies astrology and transcendental meditation. I'm speaking to you. You know yourself. When the church say amen, it means we are in agreement. Blood of Jesus. We are in agreement. That's what we mean. I feel like shouting. I said, I feel like shouting. Hallelujah. Spirit of God, in the name of Jesus, put a double anointing, a double portion upon your child as an instrument and an oracle of your power and your peace. Guide, preserve, and be set or behind and before. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. And the church, amen. God bless you. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. I have done my duty. And when I leave here, my conscience will be clear because I didn't hold back. I deliver as God wants me to deliver. In 1976, the 
31st of September on a Wednesday night I bow in the presence of God and confess my sins made my decision when I reach home the reason I made my decision when I reach home my uncle and my aunt they have died now about 500 yards before I reached the gate there was a light from heaven shooting straight from the heavens and the circle was around me it wasn't too much of a wide circle a light that comes straight from the heaven my uncle saw it my aunt saw it they were amazed and I too was amazed I saw that light and when I reached inside of my house I give it up to Jesus right there. And so saints, I want you to understand that if you touch the one who God has set a mark upon, you will get by, but you will never get away. Because I'm convinced that from the day that I was conceived in my mother's womb, if I was in Asia, if I was in Europe, wherever I would be, I would have to carry this candle because God designs it from the very night that he lays hands on me. My God Almighty. And some people said, well, we don't want to know that. Well, it's up to you, but I'm just declaring that whoever God has laid his hands on, I mean you too, because if God lays hands on you, dare the enemy get the chance to overturn you and so I'm here to say to the demonic forces the underworld and the marine spirits and all of the powers that has been unleashed over this globe working in the Vatican in the White House in the Congress and in high places and in the church because the highest place on earth is the church. But principalities and powers operates in the church as well. But God promised to raise up the base of sword. Just like this piece of dirt. To declare to the qualification of Felix and Festus. That I am the almighty. And there is none like unto me. Bind up whatever is upon you. Because sometimes you look over the congregation. Oh God. And sometimes I cry because of different reasons. Because I see this sleeping sickness. That comes over the people of God when they get in the house. The devil wants to put them to sleep. And it doesn't matter what's going on. They cannot. And the devil said you're tired so take a break. But I rebuke that sabbatical demons that would prevent you from taking the portion that God wants to deliver to you. Mighty God, look at somebody and tell that person what a refreshing. You see, everybody might say it, but not everybody can mean it. Not everybody can mean it. Everybody can say it, but not everybody can mean it. Mighty God. Those who mean it, say it again. I know it. Not everybody can say it and mean it. Because you're not refreshed. Your spirit is tarnished. Because you have a full understanding of what God is saying. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. You see what I understand? Everybody talking about heaven. But Sister Tucker, not everybody will be going there. 
But I still got to declare what the Lord has placed on my mind and in my spirit. God has done a mighty work here. But I'm just going to put a topping on what God did. Notice sometimes when I go to the restaurant and I order my virgin pina colada. And there's a nice little red cherry on top. And Sister Clark would just pick up that pick up. Oh God Almighty, some folks are so bitter and sad. But I'm going to put the cherry. Sister Clark, you know it's true, don't you? Takes my chair. I hear somebody say, Thank you, Jesus. I must go up there. I heard the writer said, How beautiful heaven must be. But because of the Lord Jesus, my God, I thought I was finished. There might be another scroll coming down. Oh God. Somebody pray for me in your heart. Somebody pray for me in your heart. know that some Sundays when I stand before this little podium that folks pick up what's going on here and despite they have their own church their own churches their own leader but online there are some folks who extend themselves and said pray for me because I'm getting some things from you. And at a distance, they're saying, I love your leadership. They're not here. But online, they're saying, I kind of love what you're presenting. Literally saying, I wish I could join you. At a distance. Online, I've never seen some of them. Some of them have be seen a couple of times and it's so strange to know that where we are persons who live with me persons who know me but yet they would be running away from me in the spirit I see it because when you take up this for me when you come pull up a little closer a little closer. When you come and you put your shoulders close to me like this, come on, pu push it in a little more. And you said, Well, I'm in fellowship with him. It's not the proximity of where your flesh is, it's where your heart is. The blood of Jesus. God knows it's where your heart is. So I don't care how close you're going to push your shoulders so that I can feel it. It's where your heart is. Because God don't see this. This is what creates the equalizer for everybody. So that Mr. Gates, Mr. Elon Musk, Amazon owner, what's his name? All of these guys.
this serves as the equalizer because the worms they have no respect for what you have they have no respect for your caliber they just wriggle on this teaching us that we all are equal so all we need to do is to humble ourselves in the presence of God walk worthy of the vocation stay in the word keep on praying because the theoretical expressions and the theory of Jesus not going to last sometimes we have gotten a touch of Jesus some 50, 30, 25 years down the road so we keep on reflecting what Jesus did back then. But where are you now? And sometimes some people find a whole lot of encouragement in roll back the curtains. Rolling back the curtains comes in two dimensions. Because some folks roll back the curtains just to say exactly what God used to do with them. Ah, but what is God doing now? Where are you now? And can I ask the question to the congregation? Is there any condemnation sitting before me right now? If there is any kind of a condemnation at all. Don't wait until everybody crowd the altar, but get up and come and bow in the presence of God. Make that declaration to the battalion of evil spirits and wind yourself. Let the diabolic forces know that I'm a child of a king. Shout hallelujah in the presence of Almighty God. Thank you, Jesus. I'm grateful to be in the presence of the Lord. Grateful. Welcome back home, Brother Wayne. Praise God. That young man, he's out of town, but he stays in touch. And I'm grateful because I, I, I continue to pray for you, Brother Wayne. Praise God pray for you and your family without his guidance and without his protection you would never be able to return home to your family what a God what a God I'm listening so don't worry looking at your time pieces and looking at the clock don't worry about it wherever it leads because I think we are about to leave the building thank you Jesus but I have to read a passage here before we leave Habakudabai Oh, Jesus. Let me hear the church say, Oh, Jesus. Come on, say that with me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Here. My humble cry while and others thou art calling do not pass me by St. Matthew chapter 5 just going to read it I think Uh, 
part of over. Jesus, I'm in your hands. Keep me on the potter's wheel. Hear my cry. Hear my prayer. Deliver your children. Deliver your church. Deliver your servants. Oh God. Oh Jesus. Oh Lord. Oh Spirit of God. A cry unto you for mercy. A cry unto you for the multiplication of grace. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, God, let it come to your children with understanding that they might find themselves humble, holy, and penitent. I'm going to be reading, but in the meanwhile, for those of you in this little forlorn building from the sincerity of your heart you want a greater connection get them from where you are and come to this altar I'm going to be reading though I'm going to be reading but this is an open an open kneel down don't stand don't stand don't stand be penitent and come like you are. Hala mushe kando libi anda daba. Ilo si alabakusha talabahando sata. Come like you really want something sincerely from him. Hala shalaba. And I'm not even going to let you kneel down for long. But kneeling down in the presence of God, it means something different from standing before Him. I feel like a stream, and the inside is about to inspire to its bank. Because the Bible said, Out of your belly shall flow rivers of living waters. Let the river flow, Lord. Let the river flow. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. As I touch the hem of your garment, almighty God. I believe in no other name. But in the name of Jesus. Because there is no other conquering name. Loose this congregation. Let them become coals of fire. It's the move to the wilderness of a dry field. Burn what the Ebudaba Sekula Bahasatala Bahando. Burn down whatever the enemy have built up. And let the foundation be erect. And let every subversive spirit. Let every deceptive spirit be under the submission and power of the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Lord Jesus, my God, the wilderness is getting darker. More darkness is coming upon this world. Few there be that are going to find it. But God, here is one group that I believe that you have your eyes on. Please, Lord. Please, Jesus. Let the glory, let the power of your presence, the anointing, the last day anointing, said you would pour it of your spirit 
upon all flesh. Adaba shako shamasa. Silobo kuseta. Silaba shata. Kelobo husanda. Sendolobo kondaya. Sendolobo. Katanda la busha kasete de viasa tai. God, pass your hands. Pass your hand of anointing over this, your church that you pay for with your blood. Your blood that was so efficacious that the need in the earth could stand a drop of it. Satalabai. Cleanse and deliver. Purge and made them wholesome. As they cry unto you with the sincerity of heart, let something, let something drop in the very recesses of their minds and the understanding that we all might understand that only holiness, only purity, will be able to have fellowship in your eternal presence. God, put your hands upon your children. I'm not better than they are. I have nothing that is more important than these, your children who kneel in your presence. I'm nothing. But God, you have given me the responsibility and you're going to give me the strength to carry on. Now, God, I pray that you'll keep your hands upon them as they're in your presence with sincerity. That as they rise from their knees, they will sense the transformation and the glory of God will appeal to their spirit in Jesus' name. Come on, rise from your knees now. It doesn't take long. Rise from your knees. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And what I want you to do, I want you to march back to your seats with your hands in the atmosphere. Because when you hold your hand up, you're saying, God, I'm drowning. The first thing that a person does when he is out there in the deep, sinking, is to hold his hand up. So as you march back and hold your hands up, you're saying, Jesus, I'm drowning. And I need your help. Kalabahanda la bose kalayando. Marakusheta siarobai o senomohusanda. Katando shandalaba kandalo bahusatai. Jesus, blessed Jesus, hear us when we call. Attend to us when we raise our voices. And give a listening ear. As our prayers come from a broken and a contrite spirit. You may be seated for a brief moment. I got to read this. And seeing the multitudes, he went up into a mountain. And when he was set... His disciples came unto him, and he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. I want to pause at verse 3. Blessed are the poor in spirit. I want to unwrap that. Because there are times when we read that verse and we might interpret it believing that the Bible is saying that we should be poor in his spirit. That's not what it means. Man has a spirit. And that spirit can extend itself so strong and so powerful that it creates an aura of pride, an ascendancy, so that we become boasters. We become so proud that nobody can correct us and nobody can talk to us 
because our spirit is too powerful our human spirit is too powerful but the more subversive our human spirit becomes is the more God can deal with us so when Jesus was saying blessed are the poor in spirit that's what Jesus was talking about in other words Jesus was saying blessed are those who are humble in heart because we are fighting three forces in this world we are fighting the world we are fighting the devil and we are fighting the flesh but which one you think is the most dangerous one the flesh the reason is we live in it and we can't pray it away it's here to stay until God removes it so when Jesus I, I believe that that is the greatest sermon in scripture the sermon on the mount for theirs is the kingdom of heaven that word theirs it means that the kingdom of heaven belongs to the one who have the poor subversive attitude in heart because many a times we walk around with a repulsive spirit can't be touched can't be corrected we set in our own way because of the enrichment of that diabolic spirit because the Bible said we were all born in sin and shapen in iniquity in sin did our mother conceives us and that's why Jesus said you must be born again hala shalo sandari okushata I got to move on. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. So sometimes we have to mourn. But our mourning won't be long. Weeping may endure for a night. But there's a joy that is coming in the morning. Blessed are the meek. It's hard to find meek people this day and time. Nobody wants to be meek. I was talking to a minister one time and he said listen brother you're talking about being meek the meeks are the footpads of the earth yes he said it in other words when you have a meek spirit it's like everybody walks over you but keep on walking over me as much as you want go walk until your feet gets tired well when you're tired burn out God will still sustain me come on brothers and sisters meekness is not weakness meekness is strength so because you might be meek some folks said mm, he's weak the meekest man on earth was Jesus second Moses but they were the strongest being that ever walked the face of this earth. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst of the righteousness. They shall be filled. Oh God, I come with this passage to preach on it. But God did something else. But I really opened the Bible to preach on this passage. Blessed are the merciful. For they shall obtain mercy. One verse could be preached on for a whole week. Blessed are the pure in heart. For they shall see God. And let me say this to you ladies and gentlemen. Brothers and sisters. Media listeners. It doesn't matter how much I preach and sing and dance and clap. If my heart is impure. I'm going to stay right here. I'm not going to leave here. I must walk around with a pure heart. I must walk around with a pure mind. Because there might be those out there believe that because I can preach. Because I can define the word. They said, oh boy. Mm, that's an angel. What I often say to you folks. Don't judge me by the way I preach. 
of the way I teach. Because might have been I've gone to school for that. So I know how to do that. But that is not the reason I'm going to see the face of God. Church, I'm talking to some believers that I would want to see in heaven when I get there. Because I'm going there. I'm going there. Blessed are the peacemakers. For they shall be called the children of God. Come on, learn to make peace. Have peace with your brothers and sisters and your fellow men. And even when you go around and you find flaws. Don't use it as a whip. To brutalize your brothers and sisters. James was saying. He that ought to win a soul. Must be wise. I remember when I was going to school about in the third grade. My teacher Miss Nelson. She taught me this. We used to call it gem. Not you, Sister Jen. It says, don't look for the flaws as you go through life. But even when you find them, it is wise and kind to be somewhat blind and look for the virtues behind. In other words, when you find my fault, don't use it to beat me up. When I find your fault, I'm not supposed to use your fault to beat you up. Who is perfect? None of us. And the Bible said that love will cover a multitude. Do you know what that means? That wherever there is love, you're going to use that love. And even if you see an open cut or a bruise, you are going to try to mend it. And to restore your brother and restore your sister. That's what Jesus loves. Oh, blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. When you are being persecuted and you are innocent. Just keep moving. Just keep clapping. Just keep dancing. You just want to know that you're innocent. If you're not innocent, then there's a problem. There is a problem. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you. And persecute you. And shall say all manner of evil against you. Falsely. It means that what they are saying is not the truth. So whatever they are saying that is not the truth, God is going to defend you in all of that. Look at somebody and say, I have a defense when I'm innocent. My God, it's so heavy to say. It's like a ton of megaton for folks to say that. Say it again. Rejoice and be exceeding glad. For great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they, the prophets, which were before you. My God, I come to preach this thing. I come to preach this thing, but the Holy Spirit said, let me help you. But read it again and again and again. It's the greatest sermon that humanity has ever heard. The Sermon on the Mount. The greatest of all the teachers and the preachers was the Lord Jesus Christ. Clap your hands and give him praise. Clap your hands and give him glory. Oh yes, I feel the Holy Ghost. We are dismissing, but I feel the anointing. Would you please go with the anointing from this place? And don't let it go. Don't let it go. Go with the anointing from this place. Jesus 
and lives here. I'm going to do just one thing before I get the usher and the secretary. Brother Chris and family, come on up. Spirit of God, Holy Spirit. Mm. Spirit of God. Thank you, Jesus. Point your hand in this direction. But before I pray, I have a petition before God. I want a hundred of these. Spirit of God. At least a hundred. You hear me, Brother Boswell? Help me bring them in. Help me. Brother Christopher, help me bring them in. Brother Wayne, help me bring them in. They will listen because you are as young as they are. So help me bring them. Hello, Shetalaba. Point your hand in this direction, Father. In the sweet and precious name of Jesus, I stand in your presence this very hour. Here is this family. You have brought them together miraculously. Now they are called your servants. I pray that you would surround them with your mercy and with your grace. I pray that you open doors for them. Spiritual doors. Financial doors. And God, I pray that as they have in their minds deciding to travel, I pray for troubling mercies. I pray for covering. I pray for protection. Guide them, almighty God. Beset them behind and before. Let the blessing that flows from heaven divine rest upon them. Journey with them from they leave the house. Hala Shanda on the Mosha, whether on the ground or in the air, send angels to cover them. And at their destination, I pray that the power and presence of Almighty God will build a circle of fire around them. Shield them from every disease, every harmful bacteria. That would be in the atmosphere, wherever they are. Bring them back safely, I pray. Covered up deep. Safe and secure. I now pronounce your blessing for guidance and protection. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Stand with me now as I pray God's blessing on the day's tithes and offerings. 